channel and welcome to another what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW. I do follow the green plan so the points that I'll be giving you will be for green but just so you know it's very easy to figure out the points for the blue and the purple plan and any recipes that I share those points will be included on my Facebook group so I'll put that right there for you guys in all three colors of plans. So if you're not part of my Facebook group come over and join us because even though I'm on the green plan my admins will take all of the recipes that I share convert them into the blue and the purple plan as well and post those points in the file section of our Facebook group so come on over and join us so we have quite a fun day today we have all my food for the day a little bit of fun day in the life diesel and Lola you name it we're gonna do it so if you want to see what I eat in a day to lose weight on the WW green plan just stay tuned Guess what guys, 17 days till Christmas. So you got your advent calendar treat for 17 days. Hang on, we're not done, we got one more. 17 days till Christmas. Good job guys, good job. So here is my breakfast for this morning. So I have, this is my meal prep from last week. This is that blueberry walnut oatmeal bake. You guys, this is so delicious. I just add a little bit of sugar-free syrup to it. It is amazingly good and filling and delicious. And then I'm pairing that with two slices of the Private Selection Center Cut Bacon. You can have two slices for one smart point. The oatmeal bake is six smart points. And then I'm just having a bowl of some grapes for zero and then of course some water. So this is going to be a seven smart point breakfast. I wanna share with you guys a company that I recently found online. It is called Nut Stop. And you guys, this website is outstanding. There are so many great things, everything from nuts to trail mixes to dried fruit, Hi, Lola. Dried fruit, granolas, you name it, and it is extremely affordable. You guys, so affordable. So I hopped on there and I went and I picked out a bunch of different products that I wanted to share with you guys, just some of the different things that Nutstop carries and their points value. When you order from them, this is how your bags of nuts or granola or whatever it is that you order is gonna come. They usually will layer it up. So I have quite a bit here. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up from the Nutstop website. They were kind enough to offer 10% off for you guys. So I'll be putting that down in the description box for you guys as well. I'm going to give you the points and I'm also going to give you the price because everything is extremely affordable. So let's jump into my nut stop haul. So the first thing I picked up are these apple wedges. Now these don't have any sugar. So I count dried fruit with no added sugar as zero points. So I'm going to count this as zero points. So I'm putting the points on the screen as well as the price. So you guys are going to know what the cost of these are, but these look so delicious. They're just dried apple slices. So a great on the go snack to take. Also these, I thought when I ordered these that these were not sugared and these are. This my friends is dried cantaloupe. Now it is really, really good. Like it is absolutely delicious, but it is a little bit high in points because it is sugared. So I have this clocking in, I believe at like nine points per serving. So kind of a lot. I didn't, again, didn't realize that it was sugared. So I'm probably going to just take it to my real estate office and leave it there for everybody because it's not something that I would eat on a normal basis. And then I also grabbed the veggie chips. So these are the nut stop veggie chips. So this is a six ounce bag. 
and these are six smart points per serving and the serving is about a quarter of a cup so these are just some dried veggie chips so kind of nice to be able to take with you when you're traveling as a snack and with the holidays here you guys they're nuts are an amazing price so this is just some raw walnuts these are one pound bags and these are seven smart points per serving now you know that you can just add or decrease the number of nuts that you use to work on those points but walnuts are great for baking and they're really good for your heart so i'll definitely be using those and then i went ahead and grabbed some roasted cashews and these are jumbo cashews these are six smart points per serving look at the size of these my husband loves cashews they're a great snack so we'll definitely eat up those for sure they're a little higher in points but nuts are really good for you and really really filling so before we go dive into the second layer let's go into this box that i've already kind of dug into so like i said they do have trail mix as well so this is the energy trail mix this is again a one pound package six smart points for one quarter of a cup and this has all the good things chocolate chocolate chips raisins peanuts great to take on the road great for kids for a healthy snack for kids also i went ahead and picked this up for my husband i'm not a big fan but he loves red licorice so i wanted to share this with you guys because honestly it's only six smart points for a quarter cup and this is australian red licorice so i mean you can have a piece or two for zero or one smart point so nice little treat if you are a licorice lover also I picked up another trail mix. We do like to take these when we travel. Plus, I thought these trail mixes would be really nice to set out during the holidays, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's parties, that type of thing. And this is the Happy Heart Mix Raw. So this is six smart points per one quarter of a cup. It has cranberries, cashews, almonds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds does have some sugar in it and some sunflower oil so that's really where you're getting the points but it's a nut mixture heart healthy so again great to set out for the holidays also i grabbed this i know i know this is the milk chocolate covered cherries again i grabbed this for the holidays it is nine smart points for five pieces six pieces nine smart points for six pieces so super duper high but again I'm going to use these on for the holidays. Also, I picked up some more dried fruit. Again, I don't count dried fruit, the points on it, if there's no added sugar. And these are dried peaches. Yum. And there is no added sugar. So I'm, of course, going to count those as zero. Also, oh, that's our licorice. Okay, there's so much in here. All right, I picked up another trail mix. This is great for the holidays. Cranberry pretzel trail mix. And this is six smart points for one quarter of a cup. And what is in this particular trail mix is cranberries, peanuts, roasted unsalted, pepitas, carob drops, yogurt pretzels, pretzel nibs. So yum, sounds really, really good. And again, I'm gonna set it out on Christmas. And then I grabbed, I've already broken into these. This is my favorite thing, my favorite indulgence. And that is milk chocolate covered bridge mix. You guys, I love it. It's 10 smart points for nine pieces, which is insane, like super insane for points. But I just had to try it again. Everyone likes to have those chocolates and nuts and things set out during the holidays. So I'll definitely be putting that out. Also, another kind of indulgent thing for the holidays are these milk chocolate malt balls. These, again, are nine points for six pieces. So these are huge. And again, you guys, great for the holidays. Let other people eat them and put them out on your spread. And lastly, in this box is another dried fruit. These are dried pears, and these also have no added sugar. So I count these as zero points. So let's break into this bottom layer of this box. All righty. So in the bottom... I've got some more dried fruit. Now, these are the best pointed ones that contain sugar. These are dried tangerine wedges. And you can see that cane sugar is in the ingredients list. But these are only four smart points for a quarter of a cup. And they look delicious. So if you do want kind of a healthier sweet treat, this is a great option to choose. Also, I picked these up for my husband. These are yogurt covered raisins and he loves yogurt covered things. Not a fan of chocolate, but doesn't mind the yogurt coverage. And these are 10 points, you guys, for a quarter of a cup. So I'll be passing those on to the husband. But if you have kids in your family or again, to put out on your spread during the holidays, these are great options. And the prices are extremely affordable. I love that. And then I picked up some more cashews. So
So these are just cashews raw jumbo. So these are raw. There's no salt or anything. Six smart points for a quarter of a cup. So again, if you're, you know, avoiding the saltedness or if you want to use these in a recipe, sometimes it's nice to have unsalted nuts for recipes. So some unsalted cashews. I got a lot, you guys. <laughs> and then I got macadamia nuts. My husband said that he wanted roasted salted macadamia nuts. And these are eight smart points for a quarter of a cup. Look how big and delicious those look. Yum. All right. And the last thing I picked up is some granola. I like to have this on top of my yogurt. Um, and this is the cranberry granola. And this is six smart points for a quarter of a cup. Now, here's the thing. You can put a tablespoon or two on your yogurt for zero points. So I like to have a good yummy granola on hand. So that's it, guys. It is a load of items from Nutstop. Definitely check out the link below. Use the 10% off and order yourself your nuts for baking and your goodies for the holidays. What's going on? Hey. What's going on in here? You guys, it's a little early for this. Yeah, it's a little early for this. So here is what I'm going to be having for my morning snack. So of course it is a built bar and you can see that this is the caramel brownie flavor. Now, a lot of what you have asked me, I don't see caramel brownie on their website. You are correct. It is not a flavor that is currently offered. This was actually in a big promotion that built bar put out a couple of weeks ago and it's so good. You guys so, so good. It's better than the caramel brownie that they put out in the built burner bar. It is seriously delicious, but I do have some good news for you. So built bar is bringing back this caramel brownie bar for an extremely limited time. I am actually going to put all of the information here on the screen for you guys about the promotion, but it is again going to be for a very, 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 very limited time. So as you guys are seeing this video, this promotion started yesterday. So again, it runs from December 10th through the 13th only, and it is a tis the season to give back promotion by Built Bar. Now, let me just tell you how much I love this promotion. I'm literally obsessed. I think it is a fabulous idea. So they are doing this promotion for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. They are going to be donating based on your purchases to this amazing charity. So let me tell you about the promotion. They are going to be offering the Caramel Brownie Bar in 18 bar boxes, so basically full-size boxes. And they're also going to offer the Pumpkin Pie Bar. So it's your last chance to get the Pumpkin Pie Bar, and it's your only chance to get the Caramel Brownie Bar. They are going to be offering them for $30 a a box instead of $36 a box and if you buy two boxes it's only $50 which that's $25 a box you guys that is an incredible deal and the best part is you can use my code here on the screen and get an extra 10% off and free shipping. So can you even believe that you can buy two boxes? You could buy two caramel brownie, one caramel brownie, one pumpkin for $25 a box plus get an extra 10% off and free shipping. And the best part is for every full size box, Built Bar will be donating $2 for single box orders to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And for every two box order, they're going to be donating $5. So how incredible is that you guys so not only are you getting a limited flavor bar both the caramel brownie and the pumpkin you're getting an incredible deal and an extra 10 percent off with my code here on the screen you are also going to be contributing from built bar to the leukemia and lymphoma society so such a great deal, such a great cause. Their goal is to raise $25,000 during this three day promotion. So highly recommend that you take advantage of this because both of those flavors of bars are outstanding and it is for such an amazing cause. So head over to builtbar.com, order your bars, donate to the Le Leukemia and Lymphoma Association just from your purchase of these bars and use my code here on the screen for an extra 10% off. How amazing. So this is what I'm gonna have for my morning snack and this particular bar is three smart points. Welcome to the Clayton 2019 home tour. I'm gonna walk you through everything that we have for this holiday season as far as decor in our house. So I hope that you enjoy a little bit. We wish you a 
So this is our ornament from this year that you saw us pick up when we were in Leavenworth, Washington. So the, we get one every single year for our family. So this is the one we picked up for the 2019 holiday season. We also bought this little gnome when we were in Leavenworth as well. You guys, I'm loving the gnomes for Christmas. He's so cute. So he's on this little table here in the corner of our living room.
Next is a little tour of my decor in my office. I can't wait to show you guys how many Christmas cards I have from my Facebook group, Christmas Card Exchange. It's seriously been the highlight of my holiday season. Today it is about 12:30, and I am starving, Marvin. So what I have is my quesadilla that I made in my meal prep that was posted last Monday. So not a couple days ago, but the week before. This is the copycat Taco Bell chicken quesadilla. You guys, it's amazing. It is so delicious. And then I just topped mine with one smart point worth of avocado. And then I'm just pairing that with a banana. So my lunch for today is a total of 10 smart points. Currently happening, he's got this whole rug to lay on and he wedges himself right there with his little head under the couch. Such a good boy. So here's what I'm gonna have for a snack. I haven't put it together yet, but I'm getting ready to get dinner kind of moving in that direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and have four Smart Points worth of low-fat cottage cheese. So basically a cup of cottage cheese uh, because the serving is a half of a cup and I'm gonna do an entire cup. And then I'm also going to top it with the rest of my crushed pineapple from my pineapple fluff. So this is going to be my four smart point snack but because i had a banana for lunch and fruit for breakfast i'm going to count my fruit pineapple is two points so this is actually going to be six smart point snack for me for tonight's dinner i'm going to be making a baked penne this is comfort food so needed on this cold winter day so let me show you what is in my baked penne of course you're going to need some penne pasta so i'm going to be using the fiber gourmet light penne you guys know I love fiber gourmet pasta. I did that test with the carbonata last week and I didn't like that pasta as much. It got soggy and just the flavor and texture wasn't quite right for me, but you guys know I love my fiber gourmet. They have penne, elbows, the spaghetti, and they also have a rotini. So in my opinion, the best pasta that there is. Here is some fun information on it. It has 19 grams of fiber per serving eight grams of protein and only 23 net carbs great ingredients great taste holds its structure does not become soggy delicious love 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 fiber gourmet pasta i actually only have two bags left so i'm probably going to be putting in another nutrition order so stay tuned for that Speaking of nutrition, that's where you can pick up this pasta. And again, it's the Fiber Gourmet. There's a link down in the description box for nutrition. Just go ahead and go through that link and you can order up the pasta. So highly recommend. I usually have about 10 bags on hand. I like to have two or three packs of each shape of pasta. So I am running low. So some light penne. And then I have the Skinniest Dish Crock-Pot Marinara. I did include this recipe in the description box below. And I actually showed how I made this recipe in meal prep that went up on Monday. So check that out if you want to see kind of how to make the marinara sauce. But it's zero points no matter how much you have. 
Also some fat-free cream cheese, Italian seasoning, an onion. The recipe calls for half a pound of extra lean ground beef. I'm gonna do an entire pound, and that is what my points are figured on, only because we want the extra protein and meat of an entire pound. So one pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef. And then for my cheese, I'm gonna be doing the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and grab out a pretty good size fry pan because we are gonna be adding our spaghetti sauce to this as well. And we're gonna cook down that extra lean ground beef and our onions until everything is cooked through. Our hamburger and onions are just about cooked through. I did start a pot of salted boiling water. We're gonna go ahead and cook down our pasta. So we'll go ahead and cook it drain it. I like to rinse my pasta as well just to get any starch off of there. And then this will actually be added into this pan with the spaghetti sauce, cream cheese, all the goodness. Once the hamburger is cooked through and your onions are nice and translucent, we're going to go ahead and add our entire jar of marinara sauce. It wants 24 ounces. That was a 32 ounce jar, but it was not quite all the way full. And again, it is zero smart points. We're also going to add in one half of our cream cheese, and we're gonna add in one half of our shredded mozzarella cheese. Go ahead and keep the other half because that is actually gonna go on top. And then the last thing that we wanna add in is some seasoning. So I just have a little bit of Italian seasoning to add to the top. So I went ahead and added my cooked pasta in with my sauce. Look at how creamy and delicious this sauce looks from adding in that cream cheese and that mozzarella, yum. So this is the last step. We do still have half of our cream cheese and half of our mozzarella left, but that's going to get added in once this goes into our baking dish. And remember, this is a baked penne, so it's actually gonna go into the oven. So let me get this all mixed together. We'll grab out our baking dish and I'll show you the next step. So I went ahead and put the pasta in the pan. It is nice and full. So I have my cream cheese, the other half of my block. I went ahead and cubed it. And we're just gonna put these on top of the pasta. So we're just randomly going to place the cream cheese cubes. And then we're gonna top it with the rest of the mozzarella cheese. So here is our pasta. Doesn't this look amazing? So I just kind of put those cubes of cream cheese just all over the pasta, topped it with the last half of a cup of the mozzarella. This is going to go into the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or until it's nice and cooked through and bubbly. So here is what the pasta looks like out of the oven. Yum, cheesy deliciousness. So I'm gonna get this plated up and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart point. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I have one sixth of the baked penne. If you cut it into six servings, it is six smart points per serving. So that is a lot of goodness for six smart points. I did forget to mention that the fiber gourmet pasta, you can have two ounces for three smart points, which is half of normal pasta. So if you're using a different pasta, your points are going to vary. So highly recommend the fiber gourmet, not only for the taste, but because it is half the points of regular pasta. So that made my serving six points. And then I have some leftover of those rainbow color carrot coins from Trader Joe's. They are seasoned, so they are two smart points per serving. So this is going to be an eight smart point dinner. joining me on another what I eat in a day to lose weight on the WW green plan. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing Diesel and Lola, lots of fun stuff on this what I eat in a day. Make sure that you check out the description box down below so that you can have access to all of my discounts, links, all of my favorite things, as well as make sure you head over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you join the 11,000 members who are amazing 
positive, supportive people. So definitely head over and join us there. If you're new, welcome. I'd love it if you take a moment and just hit that subscribe button and that little bell. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. You don't wanna miss a single video. And of course, I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you love what I eat in a days and comment down below and let me know what was your favorite part of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.